What's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to be making a video about things I dislike with my 350Z. Now, I don't necessarily hate my car, I like my car, but these were things that I learned after owning the car. Number one, for those of you that enjoy doing mad skids, drifting, all the, you know, sliding around and all that, like I do, this is a no-go. Stock e-brake doesn't actually do anything. Pull it all you want. Doesn't actually hold. When you park, doesn't hold. So what I do, I usually leave my car in gear. What the fuck, Nissan? Number two. Once again, I apologize for the wind. Uh, just, I don't have the cats. Now, as you guys can see, just unlock the car. Number three, pretty much almost all 350Zs have a t rear tire feathering problem. In order to fix it, you have to adjust your toe and camber. Maybe just your toe, I don't remember. My car slams, so it doesn't really bother me, but going through tires is no fun. Number four, 350Zs are actually known for consuming a lot of oil. Now, I change my oil every two th or 3,000 miles, mainly two. You know, sometimes I might be a little late, get to three, but usually it's never more than that. Now, by that time, I'm usually down a quart. The 350Z actually eats more oil than my RX-7 does. So, yeah. Another one of those what the hell moments now the VQ was designed fairly well. I personally think it's a great engine What I really dislike is that the valve covers have the gaskets built into them so When one of the seals the gasket uh, goes out it leaks oil into the cylinder now mine has that problem on both banks on the rear cylinders so currently it has a tiny misfire it's not really messing up the car but it is pretty annoying and then to replace a valve cover it's usually about two to three hundred dollars each number five another thing i really dislike about the engine is that usually the cam and crank angle sensor tend to go out so about once a month maybe every other month or so my car won't actually turn on. It'll just sit there and turn over, and it'll do that for about five minutes or so, and I have to wait. And then after I'm done waiting, after about five minutes, give or take, it'll turn back on. Like I said, not a huge deal breaker, but it is kind of annoying having to wait. Holding my DSLR in my other hand so I can't count higher than five, so I'll just make the rest honorable mentions. Some other things that really dislike about this, now I have a touring model, so this this car comes with a navigation and a bow system. The bow system actually sucks. The amp doesn't work all the time. The sub works when it wants to. Either of the speakers will actually go out whenever they want to, or turn back on at when they want to. Now, another thing I dislike, and this is mainly just for my Z, is the ride height. My car is maybe, I don't know, maybe two inches off the ground, two to three inches. I actually raised it. It used to be about half an inch off the ground. So right now it feels like I'm monster trucking around town. It's great. I can get into more places. I can get to work without bottoming out, but I'm still limited on some of the routes I can take. Now, this is obviously something I uh, need to fix myself. It's not an every 350Z problem, but it is something that bothers me. I bought the car this way. I didn't actually slam it myself. But I liked it, so I didn't bother lifting it back up. And then until recently, I only drove it to work, so I never really had a problem. But there is a time, time to time that I actually get stuck and it sucks. All right, so I'm editing the video right now. There's a couple things I forgot to say. So one of the things that also goes wrong with 350Zs, mainly the early models, is the transmission synchros. Now most Zenkis have this problem, mine included. Usually when I go into either third, uh, fourth, fifth, and sometimes second, 
my transmission grinds. The problem started happening because of dailying the car, not because I was drifting it or anything like that. I noticed over time if I didn't rev match, the gear would actually grind. So that's another thing to let you guys know about. I think after 05 or 06, each 350Z then had a CD009 transmission. That one is way better, doesn't grind. That's usually the one that everybody wants. The nice thing is that those can be swapped into earlier 350Z models. Also on the subject of the e-brake, earlier I brought it up. If you plan on drifting your car and you don't want a hydro, you can get either some Project Mew shoes but you run the risk of extending your e-brake cable. My car is currently on its second cable. You can also add a hydro if you really want. You can either add a second dual caliper so the hydro can have its own line, or you can run it in line. Personally, I prefer the independent hydro because when you're drifting and you start left foot braking while pulling the e-brake, it feels kind of weird. Currently, Myrick's having a setup that way. I can tell you guys when I'm tandeming, I'd rather have independent. Anyways, thanks again guys, I already know I said it, but if you guys can please like the, the video, comment, subscribe, you know, share it with your friends, it mean a lot to me. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks again.